a wizard's most rudimentary skills is levitation, the ability to make objects fly and enunciate Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Now how cool was this intro slash b-roll slash buttery video awesomeness? I'm very proud of it. What's up guys, Alex Boyer here and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> okay. This video is part of the new series I created about me trying to recreate some magic tricks I saw in TV shows or movies. So if you're a fan of Shadow and Bone on Netflix and you want to make a coin vanish like a real magician, click right here. I made a video last week on it and oh boy it's good. Right here. Right here. Or here. I don't know. I don't know. So in this video you will learn the feather levitation in Harry Potter. God Leviosa. <laughs> So my goal was to create my own version, my own method to basically make this trick work. It's all about being creative and I love building stuff. Maybe you're going to modify my method a little bit and maybe it's going to be even better than mine. I'm okay with that. So feel free to DM me on Instagram and I'll do my best to answer any of your questions. Obviously for this magic trick, you'll need a magic wand. No. No, definitely not. I could have just buy one on Amazon or a website that sells magic wand, but I wanted to make my own. So if you're ready to build your own magic wand, smash that like button. Let's get right into it. Ah, let's go. Okay, for the wand, I used an old drumstick. It was a little bit cracked in the middle, so I had to use sandpaper to make it super duper smooth. I used some 60 grain sandpaper, and to my surprise, it didn't really work. So I took my drill, put the drumstick in it, and voila, super buttery smooth, and I was happy. I tried to make it smooth everywhere and it worked. Now I have no ink left and no logo on the drumstick. And obviously I had to remove all the little particles of dust around my work station on my lens, but worth it. Now I use 150 grain sandpaper just to make it a little bit more smooth. Cut a small piece and bit it by hand. Now use this little thing, it's like kind of a little drill. I attach a saw blade to it. Let's see if it works. Thumbs up. Now I cut the end of the drumstick to have a pointy magic wand. I sand the end of it, took my little knife and tried to carve the end a little bit more. After this, I attached some sandpaper to make sure all the details of the drumstick was removed. Now it's really smooth. I was not really sure the style of one I was gonna make, so I went on Google and oh my god, there's a lot. So I think I'm gonna go with one of these. They have pretty simple design. Now I took the same little thing and tried to make grooves on the one. I marked it with a marker. Now it's really starting to look like a magic one. I carved the end a little bit. So kids, please be careful with the knife. Make sure your parents are beside you or they can also do it for you. After this, I used some wood paint to make it look really old and I made sure to put two coats on it. And after this, I put a coat of clear. This little wire is used to attach flowers. You can find this in any dollar store. And since it was red, I made sure to paint the wire black. Make sure you use matte black, not the shiny one. Now I bought the smallest drill bit I could have find. And let me tell you, it is super, super small. Now I'm going to drill just a small hole in the one, put a little bit of hot glue in it. Put the wire in it and the last step is to attach the feather to the wire. I took a needle, 
put a little hole in it, and voila. Now here's a close-up look of the actual gimmick. All right guys, so after attaching the wand to the wire and the wire to the feather, I'm pretty sure you know how it works now. Let me show you. This is basically it. So you have the wand, the wire, and the feather. You're probably asking yourself, but Alex, people are gonna see the wire, right? Yes, unless you wear a black shirt. This little metal wire here is going to disappear, obviously, because black on black, nobody's gonna see it, all right? Now, here's a couple of tips for you to make this effect look amazing, like real magic. First of all, this is not close-up magic. Never perform this effect like six inches from a spectator. Make sure you perform this effect in a parlor situation, right? So you're a couple of feet away from your spectator. I'd say at least 10 feet away. The lighting is very important also. So if you're performing this outside and it's super bright, forget about it, people will see the wire, right? So make sure it's kind of moody and it fits perfectly with this trick also, right? And I've tried it in front of so many of my friends and family and they were fooled. They don't know how it works. They really think there's magnets involved or there's a piece of thread hanging somewhere. But the beautiful thing with this trick is that when you make the feather levitate like this, you can actually control it. So you can go like this, you can turn it around a little bit like this. You're literally making a feather float like Harry Potter. It's amazing. Now the get ready for this effect is this. I would have my magic wand maybe in my case, already prepared with the wire and the feather, or behind the table. Now I would take it, go like this, have the feather in my hand, and I would do a little magic gesture with the wand like this, and now I lower my hand, and the hand that's holding the wand is going to go upward, so it goes like this. Right, so it really looks like it floats, right? And do it slowly as well, don't go like this. Right, this is not good. Magic needs to be surprising and beautiful, right? So go like this, make it float, just like that. And now turn it around, just like that. And for this, you just have to turn your wrist, all right? Super easy. And again, what's beautiful with that is that if you go like this with your hand, all right, the feather is gonna stay at the same place, but your hand is moving. So it really looks again like the feather is floating, all right? So like that, go like this. And now go like this with your hand, boom. It stays at the same place and go back in your hand and you're pretty much done. And again, since the feather is only attached, not glued to the wire, you can place this behind your table or in your case and just remove this little piece here. So you're basically clean at the end so that the spectator can pretty much examine it and there's nothing to see. Now guys, I can't stress this enough. You have to practice a lot. Make sure it is super smooth when you make the feather float, all right? Make sure also it doesn't look clumsy or weird. Make it look like you're actually making a feather levitate in the air, right? For this, I recommend practicing in front of a mirror or film yourself. Grab your phone, place it somewhere, and film yourself. Examine each and every little movement you're doing to make sure it looks beautiful. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to learn more magic tricks. I had so much fun building the wand and trying to come up with my own method. And again, guys, if you have any question, don't forget to DM me on Instagram. I'll do my best to answer every questions. And I wanna know, let me know in the comment which magic trick from movies or TV show you wanna learn. I'm here for this, I'm gonna do it. Smash that like button and I really hope to see you do this amazing effect on social media. Tag me in it, I wanna see you do it. Practice, practice, practice practice, but most importantly, have fun with it. My name is Alex Border, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Boys.
Kādu viņu jau sāk? 